Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today's December 13th. Starting in January, I start growing lots of seeds indoors, and these are some of the things that I use. These are grow light boxes where you can start seeds, you can grow transplants, and I want to give you um, two ideas on a different design. At the end of this video, you'll see a link that will show you how to build something like this for starting seeds indoors. A couple of things that um, make this really easy is you can buy you know the different kind of totes and storage containers and this is pretty much what I use. You always want to poke holes in the top because when you have plants down in a container this shallow the moisture is going to build up on the underside. So you do want to poke holes in here so that the moisture comes out and you just don't want water sitting on uh, the bulbs because you're dealing with electricity. This is all I do is this is just a simple um, fluorescent fixture mounted to the underside of the lid put some foil down, you can use mylar, you can even use um, white uh, cardboard, poster board. People say that poster board, white poster board reflects better. But this is just a seed starting box. This is not where you're going to grow your transplants and it's really built for about 18 seed cells. And if you think about it, 18 seed cells may not look like a lot, but this could be 18 tomato plants, 18 peppers, or a combination. And that's a lot for some of the home gardens. You want to find a bulb that has a Kelvin measure, which is the type of light produced between 41 and 6500, and a lumens, which is the total amount of visible light between 2000 and 3000. I have videos on that. You can look that up and see what's going on with those numbers. But these are the numbers that create the best light to germinate seeds and grow transplants. I can tell you, you're not going to find a bulb like this that falls into these ranges. So get as close as you can. It'll still work for um, germinating purposes. And what I do for this type of box is I leave this on 24 hours. You don't want to miss the seeds germinating because they're going to become leggy. So maybe after three or four days when I know the seeds aren't going to germinate, I keep this off and then I turn it on, leave it on 24 hours until they germinate, leave it on for probably 24 hours for a couple days thereafter so that the germinating seeds get established. And then these are going to move into another box. But this is, you know, the basic design, pretty simple. Holes in the lid, fluorescent fixture screwed on on the underside. You could use two if you want more light, however you want to do it. And this just builds a simple seed starting germination box. Now, if you don't want to use that, you may not need it, you may have enough light sources. You can also build the, uh, I forget how many gallons this is, maybe 12 or 18 gallon tote. Again, at the end of the video, it'll show the build for this. What I like to use, let's see, we got Kelvin, and just a quick reminder, Kelvin is the type of light produced, so when you're looking for bulbs, you want 4100 to 6500 Kelvin, or as close as you can get to that, and you want lumens between 2000 and 3000, and that's the type of visible light. It's the brightness intensity, and this is the type of the light produced. So closer to 6500 Kelvin gets you more like natural light, and that's what you want for your, for your plants. Here's the bulbs that I use in this container. These are... 150 lumens, which isn't quite 2,000, and 5,000 Kelvin. Great numbers. This bulb does work, and you can get four for $15.97. So it's not really expensive. What I want to show you is the lid. Again, any kind of tote box about a distance like this, I'll show you the fixture here that you can press it down. You can also put this on books and raise it. But this is, well, let me just show you here. This is a fixture, let me shut that off. It's a 150 watt lamp, which means that this lamp can hold a bulb that goes up to 150 watts. These are 23 watt bulbs. So you always want a bulb to be less than what the lamp fixture itself is measured for. It's a clamp and it just clamps right onto the underside here and over here you put a slit in, clamp it on, and then you have a great way to raise and lower the light closer, you know, to your plants when they're smaller, and then you raise it up when they get larger. And you always want to keep the light about two inches away. And the way you do that, let me put 
pull this up for a second. Turn it on. And the way you do that is you just cut a square in here that's big enough for the top of the fixture to come out. And then you just put a T cut in there so that you can clamp the lamp right onto there. You close this off and now you have the lighting fixture for your grow box. Now the reason I like this one is because it has a front that will pull down. Maybe. There we go. And I can get right into there and move it around, water it, and do what I have to do without always taking this lid off. It's a little bit more expensive. You don't need this, but I like it. And this is actually my um, transplant box. So when I get my seeds started in the version I showed you earlier, I grow them for a little bit longer in actually the build that comes at the end of this video. And then when my transplants are tall, they go right in here. I move the, right, the light around every day, give it a different angle, and I just grow the tomatoes in here until they're ready to go outside or into my greenhouse. But these are ways that you can build your own grow light boxes have very strong um, seedlings that don't become leggy. You'll have great transplants and you'll save yourself a lot of money. Last thing people ask me a lot of questions is how often or how long do you leave the lights on? Lights stay on 14 to 16 hours. Lights stay off for 8 to 10 hours. So you really want to have a sleep cycle of at least 8 hours for your plants. They do need the darkness. And you always want to keep the light 2 to 3 inches above the plant or above the soil when you're germinating seeds. As you get four or five inches away exponentially, the intensity, the Kelvin and lumens change and your plants become weaker. So always two to three inches, that will make um, a big difference in the health of your plant. And I always recommend a timer. It's very hard to catch, to go downstairs every day, turn the lights on, turn the lights off. So if you buy a timer, you're gonna be in good shape. Hope you enjoyed the video. This gives you some ideas on how to construct your own grow light boxes. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.